Alright guys, Travelling Blade here, you join me at beautiful downtown Bramall Lane as today we take on Brighton. Brighton currently ninth. If they win, if, when, if they win, they could move up to seventh. Uh, obviously they're chasing Europe again, they're currently in the Europa League. Once again they're having a good season um, chasing Europe again. As you'll remember all too well, they absolutely smashed us 5-2 a few weeks back in the FA Cup. United, however, believe it or not, are coming off the back of a win away from home at Luton. I know, honestly, believe it or not, I'm hoping for a draw today. A draw, once again, believe it or not, a draw would take us off the bottom of the league. I know I can't believe it either. But we've got to get that point first. We've got to get that point first. I don't believe we can stay up, but I do believe that we can finish above Burnley, and I'll take that. The line up, I think we've got a few injured. I think both Berwick and Diaz and Archer are injured. So we've got Asula up top. On its top, bless it. A few other surprises. We've got um, Osborne starting in midfield. We've got LaRouche at left wing back. I don't mind LaRouche to be fair, but I did expect Lowe to start. But if I'm being honest, I think I prefer LaRouche to Lowe. And Wes back in net, despite Wilder making it evidently clear for the first good. Can we get a point today and get us off the bottom of the table? Probably not, but we'll find out. Chris Wilder's red and white wizards, Sheffield United. Come on, United! Upon reflection, from, from what I'm hearing, it sounded like it was a, a definite, definite red. Fucking Holgate, man. Doncaster's finest. Shit in hell! How on earth that did not go in? Hey! No! Out of the corner! Fuck off! Goal! Goal! Brighton, I didn't record the goal. They scored from a corner that definitely wasn't a corner. This referee must be the biggest Sheffield Wednesday fan in the world. What a hero. This referee is almost too good. It just, I don't know how it fucking went in, but it went in from a corner that wasn't even a corner. Fucking news. Oh no! Tell the referee, one no! Tell the referee! And here we go, it's 24 minutes in, 2-0, 10 men, it's time to fucking rock and roll. Three, no. 30 minutes in, the stool has been subbed off. We've now got no strikers on the pitch. They've got no strikers. A trusty came on instead. Incredible. Been disallowed because the ref 
He's amazing. I love him. I love him. My favourite riff ever, this one. Oh, it's a VAR check. We might have a chance. Ooh! He's been sent to the screen. We're in with a chance. But as this ref is the world's biggest Chef Wednesday fan, we've got no chance. So they were checking for a foul, now they're checking for offside. They're just trying every single fucking way they can to disallow this. Here we go. So it was originally for a foul, now it's for offside. Maybe for hand fucking ball next. What's going on? It's now been given for offside. So they tried to rule it out for a foul, and they realised it, but they couldn't rule it out for a foul. Then they thought, oh, let's try and rule it out for offside. Shit. Well, it's half time, it's 2 0 to Brighton, some fucking game so far. Um, they scored from a corner that should never have been a corner. We scored. They tried to rule it out for a foul, they realised they couldn't rule it out for a foul. Then they ruled it out for offside from a corner. Apparently it was offside. From a corner. From a corner. Uh, Holgate, what an idiot. He got sent off. So we're down to 10 men. The goal ruled out. They scored from a corner. It shouldn't have been a corner. It's just fucking back to reality. Back to reality. Some teams, some games. You fell off my The last 10, 15 minutes just been bright and passing it around our box, waiting for the moment, and now they're taking it. There we go. Jesus. 4 0. 4 0. At least 12 minutes left. There's time for more. Ah, oh dear. Five nil. Again. Again. When's it gonna stop, Robbie? Roy, five nil. Thoughts. Oh, always the same. I think he's trying to escape. Yeah. <laughs> always the same. Um We've had a few nice pints at the beer engine. Yeah. Another um, five nil. Not even like uh, it's not even it don't don't get me angry, it don't hurt anymore. It's just a bit of a joke in it, it's a bit of a laugh. Um, stay till the end today. Um, well done. Even, Edgar, did you say to the yeah, end? Yeah, he did. Christ. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's always saying we're always outside this pub, like, talking uh, about like Eight how, nil. How, Five how, nil. how bad it's been. Yeah. Um, it's not even shocking anymore, yeah, though, not, is it? Not, not it's just not even today. shocking. We've had a couple of pints. Um, what, what do you say? There's nothing to say, is there? There really isn't anything to say. It's just. Yeah. Rubbish. Um, good luck to Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> Keep yeah. up the doodling. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Pipe dreams are good in the way. I mean, yeah, I think like Brighton fans even they like, they, they were quite quiet, I thought, at away end because they probably thought like what well, this a pre season game or like, <laughs> friendly. It was that easy. But um yeah. Um outclassed again. Uh, we're just not good enough. Every week. Every week. Every week. Every week.
All right, so for the fourth time this season, we've lost 5-0. Brighton 5, United 0. Some game, some game over almost as pretty much as it started with uh, Holgate. Really, really stupid, rash decision. Absolutely clattered Matoma, blatant red card, obviously. So straight away, it was already going to be difficult playing Brighton, but now we're down to 10 men and we've got to do the same thing. It was just, um, it, it never went up the hill. It never went up the hill. I mean, I was really pissed off with their first goal. It, it wasn't a corner. It wasn't a corner. Um, we probably should have defended the corner better, but it, it wasn't a corner. Uh, and then after that, it was just sort of Brighton um, just toying with us like a, um, like a cat playing with a mouse before it rips its head off. And especially by the second half, we were just sat there, um, as was often the case in the cup game, just Brighton passing it around, waiting for their moment to uh, carve us open and just picking their moment. And it's just, we were completely at their mercy, at completely at their mercy. If they wanted to have scored more, um, they would have done. Actually, they probably they probably should have scored a couple more. There was one or two decent saves from Wes. Yeah, we're completely at their mercy once again. Just showing, like, obviously Brighton are one of the... Um, you know, they're, they're, they're up to seventh now, but they're not Man City or Liverpool or Arsenal. And just showing you the gap in quality between us and just the rest of the Premier League. Completely just... blowing us away once again for the second time this season at Bramall Lane. And it's just, I'm absolutely punch drunk with it now. I sat in the pub after and I'm not even like angry anymore. I'm just, just shrugging like, that's another, another game, isn't it? Just another game. I'm just not shocked by it anymore. And... There's no reason to be because it's happening like every other week. Um, we now go away to Wolves. Uh, who knows? Honestly, every single game coming up this season, perhaps with the exception of Burnley at home, could be 4-0. Every single game could be 4-0. I don't... I genuinely think... It, I don't know. What's... Just where do we go from here? Apart from well, obviously down. But how are the players are going to have to try and pick themselves back up from this mentally? I don't know. I really don't know what Wilder's going to do. What more can he do? Obviously, we've got the players that we've got. They're, this is how good they are. Not very. So, we go again at Wolves away. Jesus Christ, what are we doing? Anyway, guys, I'm in the Travelling Blade and I'll see you for Wolves away.